Shalom, everybody. Uh, sorry about the bad lighting in here, but I'm just be uh, giving a quick message. Uh, this message is going to be talking about um, that who who are the Israelites and who are the Judeans amongst the uh, Hebrew people of Jacob. Okay. I'm also going to be talking about why sometimes you see in scripture there are 13 tribes and sometimes just uh, 12 tribes you know here and there you may see a tribe missing from the 12 tribes is what I'm trying to say and I'm also going to be going to into scripture to show you the redemption of the tribe of Dan I'm going to show and prove that in scripture so this should bring a lot of clarification. Now the first part of this, I'm going to be reading from my notes. So it may, you know, be a little slow. I have it, you know, written down here. And the second part, when I go into the tribe of Dan to show you that they are coming back into the fold, um, I'm going to be reading from scripture, okay? So let's jump right into it. Now, um, all, all Hebrews from Jacob are not Israelites and all are not Judeans. Are Judeans. Um, Israelites are of Israel. That's the northern kingdom, the ten tribes, okay? Um, Jews, the real bloodline, I'm not talking about the uh, Jewish people, the fake Jews. I'm talking about the real bloodline. Jews are Judeans. Now, that's the southern kingdom, the two tribes, Judah and Benjamin. Judah and Benjamin both are Jews, okay? They both are Jews. Now, hold on. Let me keep explaining here. The word Jew is short for Judean. It's not short for the tribe of Judah. It's short for Judean. Judean meaning the land of Judea and its capital city, Jerusalem. <clears throat> and, and that is the southern kingdom, as I mentioned before. Now, there were remnants of Levi scattered throughout the southern kingdom among Judah and Benjamin, and they would too be considered Judeans in the land of Judea. But the majority the majority of the tribe of Levi was in the northern kingdom, scattered throughout the ten tribes. Now, let me scroll down here to understand that what you know why it was like that is because the tribe of Levi didn't have any land, and it was commanded by the Most High. Say a command. Oh man, hold on. Wow. Excuse me. Let's see. It, it was commanded by the Most High that all of Jacob, all 12 tribes, provide quarters to the tribe of Levi throughout all the cities among all 12 tribes. So you would find the tribe of Levi scattered throughout all 12 tribes throughout the land. <clears throat> okay, skipping on down here. The reason there are 13 tribes. What the reason sometimes you see 13 tribes in the scriptures and sometimes you see 12, sometimes you see a missing tribe here and there. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see, you got Dan, Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Issachar, Zebulun, Gad, Asher, Naphtali, Benjamin, Manasseh, and Ephraim. That's the 13 tribes. Okay? You know, all together. Now, what I want you to understand is that the tribe of Manasseh and Ephraim are a split from the tribe Joseph. <clears throat> Now, Dan was outcast for worshiping false idols. 
Now how the Most High made it 12 tribes again? He took the tribe of Joseph and he split the tribe of Joseph and made it Manasseh and Ephraim. So it made it 12 tribes, tribes again why Dan was outcast. And that's why you see that mishap all throughout scriptures. So if you was confused about that, hopefully I brought you clarification on it. <clears throat> so now, what I want to go down to is Dan returned from being outcast because there is a lot of Israelites out there teaching that Dan will not return. They are no longer a tribe. Dan is still a tribe like we all are a tribe. Dan is outcast. They was outcast before any of us were outcast. Okay? They was outcast out of the land of Israel. They went down into Ethiopia. Okay? That's where they went. They was outcast before any of us. And then later on, the northern kingdom because of the same thing also got outcast outcast at the borders and the tribe of Judah and Benjamin got outcast also after the 10 northern tribes okay they fled from Jerusalem in 70 AD over into West Africa but they got dispersed farther by ships <clears throat> where the tribe of Judah. The tribe of Judah got dispersed farther by ships to the four corners. And the reason why the rest of the tribes did not get that punishment is because at that time it was Judah bringing in the false gods. Now I'm going to do a separate video showing you that it was only Judah that was outcast to the four, um, four corners by ships from the transatlantic slave trade. I'm going to show you and I'm going to prove it to you. And I'm also going to show you the rest of the 10 tribes scattered throughout Africa. By fact, it's in scripture. I know a lot of camps teach against that, but I'm going to show you for fact that it is scripture. Okay? And for those of you who have an ear and <clears throat> won't understand it, you will get it on that day. So, let's move along here and let's show you. I'm going to show you that the uh, tribe of Dan is coming back. And this is going to give you clarification. So if you can get your Bibles out. And we're going to, the first scripture we're going to go to here is we're going to go to Genesis 49, 17, 17 through 18. Okay. You can turn along and read with me. Genesis chapter 49, verse 17 through 18. Okay. Dan shall be a serpent by the way, and a adder in the path that biteth the horse heels, so that his rider shall fall backwards. Now, he says, I have waited for thy salvation, O Lord. Okay. So, as you can see clearly, he says, I have waited for Dan's salvation. He is waiting for Dan's salvation. They are still outcast today. But he's still waiting for their salvation. But hold on. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to clearly show you that they are coming back as a tribe. Just stick with me here. The next scripture we're going to go to. Is we're going to go to Ezekiel, Ezekiel 48 and 1. Let's see, Ezekiel 48 and 1. You got your Bibles turned with me. Ezekiel 48 and 1 is 
uh, the chapter of Ezekiel 48, what well, 47 and 48 is talking about the gates given back to all the tribes of Israel. And every tribe has a gate. They got land that would be given to them. And what I'm going to show you is that the tribe of Dan is in here as getting the gate because they are coming back. They will be given a gate. Okay? Now, 48 and 1. Ezekiel 48 and 1. Now these are the names of the tribes from the north end to the coast of the way of to the way of Hephlon and as one goeth to Hamath. Okay? Hazarnan, the border of Damascus northward to the coast of Hamath. For these are his sides east and west, a portion for Dan. So you see, Dan has a portion of the land because they are coming back. Okay, now let's keep reading. Let's go to uh, Ezekiel 48, 32. Ezekiel 48, 32. And it's clarified, it's clarified this father. Let's make sure I got the right scripture here. 48. Okay. At the and at the east side, for thou for and at the east side, four thousand and five hundred and three gates and one gate of Joseph one gate of Benjamin one gate of Dan so you see again it's telling you that Dan has a gate now I want to point out something that's very significant in this scripture to show you that it's not going to be 13 gates but still 12 gates but what he did was he's mentioning Joseph because he's making, he's showing you that he's taking the tribe of uh, Manasseh and Ephraim and making them one again as Joseph. Listen again carefully. And at the east, and at the east side, 4,500 and three gates and one gate of Joseph. Joseph is Manasseh, uh, Manasseh and Ephraim. He's making them one tribe again as Joseph. And then one gate of Benjamin and one gate of Dan. So it's still 12 gates, Dan included. Okay? Now, let's go to Psalms 68.31. And if you read scripture, like I said, it shows you that the tribe of Dan went into Ethiopia. Now, a lot of you know that the tribe of Dan is in Ethiopia. They're called Better Israel. Many of you know this already. And I'm going to show you that that's where he's bringing them out in the end times. This will happen after the Messiah comes back. When he returns back, then the tribe of Dan will be brought up back into the land and given a gate. Let's see, Psalms 68. So let's go to Psalms 68, verse 31.
Sorry about that. Psalms 68, verse 31. Princes shall come out of Egypt. Ethiopia shall soon stretch out her hands unto God. Okay? This is talking about the tribe of Dan. As most of us know from scripture and from history that the tribe of Dan is in Ethiopia and they are called better Israel. Okay? And what he's telling you right here in Psalms 68 verse 31 princes shall come out of Egypt Ethiopia shall soon stretch out her hands unto God so they're coming back okay they're coming back to the most high and that's what I wanted to show you so it's very important to know that uh Dan's salvation is last, but it's not forgotten, okay? It's very important to know that. So I hope maybe this um, scripture, these scriptures that are presented to you for Dan, was clarification that the tribe of Dan is coming back. Um, you can go read them yourself to re-clarify what I have read and see that the, uh, the tribe of Dan is outcast like we're all outcast they was just outcast before any of us but their salvation is last after ours okay you got the uh, 12,000 from each tribe okay and Dan is not included in it the reason why they are not included is because they would not return until after the Messiah and then they would come back up into the land and get their portion of the land as I just showed you I showed you that in Ezekiel 48.32 and Ezekiel 48.1 they do have a gate they just they get theirs after the Messiah return okay so just because you don't see them among, you know, the 144,000 does not mean they are no longer included. Their salvation is last. The Most High awaits their salvation. That's back in Genesis 49, 17, 17 through 18. So I hope many of the things that I said in this video gave you clarification on much. And um, I bid you all shalom and have a blessed evening.